building, but I understand that there's a lot at stake for us all here. I'm not, I just on some hippie crusade to prove that like my weed smells really good or anything like that. I am just being an open pro plant innovator that is confronting these very real like um, give and take. We're contrasting, okay, I mean, as, as a smoker of marijuana, I would not have brought 10 factory farms in the state. I would not have brought 10 frack injection wells into the state. But yes, if some very kind gentlemen want to start the first 10 farms in 10 farms is not enough. Yes, yes, we need weed now. I'm standing up to say I'm sick of being hit up just because I have like a hempy vibe. All right. I am not a dealer and I don't have access to a bunch of it, even to be baking with it to any great extent. Uh, I really haven't looked that hard. I mean, I could get more, I suppose, if like I put some mind to it. Like I'm not a fucking criminal mastermind and I've been involved in um, social justice and, and, and environmental um, quality campaigns, advocacy that I'm like the first people connect to for a lot of pro-vegan, pro-hemp, um, marijuana policy, uh, what I've done with brain food advocacy, what I've done with farming rights justice, um, and been available. I've talked to hundreds of thousands of people about cannabis in the state, about hemp farming, and I know who's cool, and I know when we treat each other with respect, good things happen. We have peace in our communities. We're happy about our lives. I really want to create those peaceful situations that are unifying people in just fantastic ways. Like, of course, the faith leaders and the police reformers should be hosting Omega Enrichment, Fat Balanced Aligned, Yoga Granola Gift Shop, flipping yoga sessions and, and potlucks and movie screenings with the oceans groups and the hemp groups have united and i have an exciting announcement that i made it through to mission blue the nonprofit mission blue and i'd like to give sylvia earl a big hello and thank you so dearly for being such a thoroughly guiding thoroughly guiding and 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 just the, every three words like your genuine nature of care and and um trusted that that like the experience of our oceans is not apart from you Sylvia Sylvia your deepness is to my botanical wonderment zone what is needing to um, unite the seaside villagers and the brain food farmers in a lot of the excitement of the hemp resurgence, the exciting applications of, of flax and chia, where these uh, nutritional wonderment seed sources are working wonders in people's lives. That's why we have um, the science now over. We've never had, and for the past months, it's like I've, I've like, been manifesting this like omega enrichment struggle just pursuit that we have brain food reminders that we have <clears throat> fat tubs organized where there's seed sampling there's recipe so that anyone who wants to balance their diet and find out about omega-3 sources has basic information basic ways of finding out about the service that we're really doing here and it's not just that Ohio voted no on issue three that was so devastating it was that this whole time um hemp's really been needing these super seed boosting situations where the applicability is happening, 
Um, I'm one of the um, people I know who's done, doing like some of the hardest core um, protein, salad protein source diversity advocacy. <clears throat> and I've met <clears throat> um, executives from Darden Restaurant and Yum Brands at the Restaurant Association Conference and um, have been able to <clears throat> reach out to Darden only very limitedly through their, not through Twitter. I, I, I'm not very popular on Twitter yet, you guys. It's a sensitivity moment right now because I'm picking up like that the pace, the pace, the pace, the pace is disappointing. Guys, our pace, like, we really have to be present to the moment. I know this is a, such a glorious, 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 glorious time to demonstrate our wherewithal to, <clears throat> to really meet these challenges with our ecological stewardship, with our nutritional wellness, which where can we use nutritional wellness? Where can we use mineral balance, fat balance, hormone balance? I'm going to comprehensive PTSD for a moment. All right. Okay. Really specific. Okay. So with strategic healing, let's talk about strategic healing. Okay. So I'm a geography person. And when I think of <clears throat> um, taking a stand, here's an issue that's going on. The urgent manure runoff. Uh, mitigation, less meat, less poop, less toxic slaughterhouse discharges. This um, campaign from my group, Neo Meat Free Mondays Coalition, is uh, really pertinent right now because the UN Peace Ambassador Jane Goodall has issued her statement of support. There are not as this, this kind of significant environmental resource stewardship issues and animal care issues before humanity other ones like quite like this right now that are i want to just speak out as somebody who feels affected by the this the rates of discharges i feel like that the applicability of a fiber promoting eat the rainbow centered um fat balanced meat free menu can transform our whole like beings for like 40 percent of people who might feel better if they just got into a veggie patty or just had like a really a light a light plant whole food plant food menu and i'm so satisfied by grains and veggies and i love snacking on fruits and chocolates and drinks and i i, I eat a lot of corn chips and salsa and and grains and hummus and soups and veggies and and stir fries and salads and tacos and crispy tofu cubes as well as the whole array of things in various states like little micro green things sprout things i have um fungi in my diet sometimes like i, I like it i like fungi and i have travesty to report on twitter so meet me there, hemp snackery, and we are taking on the PTSD crisis. I swear to God, I have absolutely no renouncements about anybody's ill will at this point, except for that we have to clean up. Like, I just, I, I'm not just to fetch, like, complaining about environmental issues or, or where our rights choices aren't matching up with our resource choices, aren't matching up with our ethical concerns, aren't matching up with our need to reduce emissions, our need to cleanse and clarify. Oh, there's the superpowered Vitamix that's gonna be shaving ice into the, the hemp milk that we're about to make. Oh.